Hello guys, we're back for part two. Want to show you uh, that I did a, did one of the bows and uh, the name tag. So I did three and we're going to do one together here. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it's finished. And let's see, I also put this bag right here that we had finished. Okay, now let me get over and find the other package. Right there it is, right there, broad daylight. I'm trying to find something heavy to put on my, <laughs> there we go. All right, so I just cut the strings on these little tags down about like that because they need to be glued down with the um, bow in the center. The, the reason is because it, you know, looks better. Big, big tip here. You don't want your um, bow to be off the package. I wasn't thinking a minute ago, and I thought, well, I'm just going to cut that off the package. And, I mean, not cut it off the package, but put it up here on top of the package. You can do that on your other ones if you choose to put bows on them. But I'll tell you. You don't do it here because you can't put anything in your pocket, okay? So, I've tied a bow, just a simple bow, nothing fancy. It's not going to matter. You just want to put glue on the back that will hold down the tag strings and the bow right there. Now, you can go as high up with your bow as you want, um, but not off the paper. Don't get glue on your paper. So, this one wants to wiggle around because, you know, this is satin ribbon and it has a mind of its own. Okay. Now, I'm going to kind of glue that down so it's not sticking up weird. Just, I mean, when I say that, it's just a tiny, tiny drop. Because you don't want too much of it coming through your ribbon. Okay. Making sure there's nothing there. And then I just added a little blob of glue behind the tag and kind of turned it like it's hanging off the tag. Just like that. Easy peasy. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the next thing. We had not finished putting those um, packages on that that match. Let me get over here and I'll show you what I mean. Let's see. Right here. Remember these packages we added? Now, I am going to come in here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here and real quickly, I'm going to take a, trying to think, maybe a black pen, gel pen, okay. And I don't know if this is even gonna be the right color. I'm just gonna kinda line the boxes a little bit so they don't, they look like they, um, they really look like they need to stand out more. They're kinda blending. At least that's how they look to me. Now this time I'm doing a double straight line. It does not have to look perfect. This one I just did a lines and a little mark and yeah. Now see, you can see the wetness on here from the, from the pen. But I'll tell you, you're gonna have to put something on top of it when it's time to crud. Sometimes your pen doesn't act right. I think it's trying to blob up on me. Put another one there so it looks like I did all this on purpose. <laughs> so we'll come down here and draw a couple lines. 
and a couple lines. See, it's just really letting the um, gel glue, uh, gel pen out. I don't know what its problem is. It's not wanting to cooperate with me, I can tell you that. So, that is wet. So, you never want to close anything down on the wet stuff. So, we're going to find something to put on it like this straight down oh crud it's not going to be straight down not try not to smear it okay then we're going to come over to this second signature and we're going to put the other ones in by the time we do that hopefully that will be dry okay so let's just see we want them in the in the first signature i guess is what we decided I'm trying to think for some reason, I thought it was right there, but it's not. I took them out, of course. Come out of there. I think this would be good because we have Santa right here. And there'll be some packages that we could pretend that he just set them down. Now... This has three packages compared to the other one. Okay. Now we're going to do them like this. How's that? Okay. Now we want to start with the one on the bottom like we did before. And just get your glue down. Hopefully it won't go crazy like last time. Okay. Want to make sure this top one is straight because you're going to lead down, you know, you're going down with it here. So we want this one to be right there. right there went ahead and made these before I started up the second cam uh, second video because I didn't want to have to mess with them I just pulled out some more scraps whatever I had on the table is what got put down I've got to get to the store to get some glue. Because when I start my next book, I will need it. So the next video will be the next book. And then after it's complete, I'm going to do a flip through of the four of them. And it probably end up being a longer but quicker flip through because it's. Uh, I just want you guys to see how it turns out. The owner, she um, she knows. Okay, so here we go. We got that. Now we need to mark these two. Now I'm going to go ahead and do it real quick while we're here, so we don't forget. And hopefully it'll go better. I'm gonna be a little more. Okay, let's see. I'm just drawing straight lines, making it really fast, and I'm off camera, aren't I? I'm so sorry. I need to get my mat back down because, you know, my mat keeps me geared in the right direction. 
Okay, so this paper that we're trying to mark on now is like a sticker. I had some strips on my sticker pad and it, you know, I don't want to do it. So what can I say? Uh, let's go back this way. Okay, I'll go down here. Might have to use a different um, pen on this if I can't get it to cooperate. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to change because what happens is it starts trying to leak out. Here is another. Whoops, and it's coming apart. Let me get it screwed down here. It's another black one. Probably will do the same thing, but we'll see if it works at all. Do you know what I mean? It's working better, not much. Okay, got that one's good enough. I don't want it to smear any more than necessary. I'm having to do a little section and kind of go backwards on, with it. You just kind of have to play with these pins sometimes. If you know they're old, don't use them on a final project in your something you're selling. I know a lot of you don't sell, and and um, and that's okay. But for the ones that do, okay, there we go. There we go. Now that one's not as juicy as the last one was. That last one was like, wow. Okay, so got the package thing over. Okay. And let's go over here. Ooh, I don't want it to get black on there. Let me see if I have a piece of paper big enough. I think I do. Let's just put this page in there. And let's go over here. And lift straight up and make sure it hasn't see that would have been on your other page and that's why yeah this is still kind of messy so I'm gonna go ahead and put a book page there so when we move it it will be okay all right so moving along let's see what we're going to do next so excited to get this done. I don't want them to be overly chunky, uh, you know, is what I'm thinking. So, we're going to have to do some tags at some point, right? Oh, wait a minute. We have these to put in there, too. Let's get the pockets in first. Um, so, I did. Let's do the second signature and put a pockets, the pockets in. Try not to put a pocket back to back if you can. It just looks better. I'm trying to kind of match up whatever color, you know. Uh, let's see. I think we're good to let that out. Let that out of the bag. Okay. Come on. I don't like to put it on tea stained paper because I worked too hard for that tea stained paper. And... It just has to be okay. All right, let me see. I think I, I think I like this one right here. Luckily, it will fit. Okay, it's this side. I have so much glue. It's, it feels my fingernails feel rubbery. Now these are a flip, and so you see that it's white here. I use I like to use it with one-sided paper. And then you fold it and you put it here, and then you have a pocket. And then you can have hidden journaling also. But you got to remember, you don't glue the whole thing down. I have done that before. Don't laugh. Not nice to laugh. Um, 
So just put as thin a line as you can on these because it is a small pocket. Make sure your image is up right, up in the right position, upright. Because see, it's, you know, it's real easy when you use a print to fold them the same way and not think about it till you put it in the book. I've done that too. So you want to make sure that you um, do that. Okay. All right, so we have a pocket here. Excuse me, got the hiccups. I may go back and put something like a sticker or something on that, but right now I'm just happy with it like that. Let's go to this uh, second signature, second half and see if we can find a place that will work for the other one. Now the other one's going to have to be on the left side because, um, no, there's another page right there. It has to be on the left side because of the way it's cut. So this is a perfect place right here. See, because Santa's doing his thing right there, and um, let's see. <laughs> you have to really make sure you're going down the right sides, because all sides look alike. There we go. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to put it in this corner. I don't like to put it on my paper, but you know... I try to put on the back a cardstock as much as I can. Um, that way it's stronger to hold whatever embellishment you have, but also, um, yeah. So keep your fingers crossed for Charlie. He is headed to Cincinnati this morning and we'll see the doctor tomorrow. They're going down. They went down. They left really early this morning to get Charlie there because the people who house them when they're there are going to be leaving out of town and they want to make sure they can see them. So, um, that's awesome. Anyway, so they left early enough to see them before they leave on their trip. You know, they're like Charlie's second grand or third grand set of grandparents. You know, because he lived down there with them and they, you know, interacted with them like it was one of their grandkids. And listen, they love Lucy and Charlie. And uh, Charlie loves to go because they have a pool and they have a um, playground that he likes to play, you know. They have a playground in their, or a little, you know, one of the nice little wooden play playgrounds in their backyard so charlie's like he just loves it he wants to go swing and okay so the next thing we're going to do are these couple tags now this is one that i decoposed in a previous video so i inked it and we're going to put it in here i'm gonna put it right there and then we're just going to staple it because I like to do that because I feel like they stay on much better when they're velvet, you know? I know you're thinking velvet with a stapler. Nah, it doesn't matter. It's all about texture um, for me. Now, I want to cut these because I don't like them straight like that. Okay, now that's one. And then here's the second one. Now, I haven't punched a hole in it yet, so let me do that so we can put that on. Alrighty. I tell you, there's not room for anything, and I've just got some stuff just looks like a bunch of trash flipped over into the trash. Where did it go? There it is. There she is. Okay, so I'm just going to punch above her head. And hope that I'm in the right spot. Hopefully it'll be center. Looks good enough, doesn't it? Okay. Now, I'm going to slip that velvet, red velvet, through there also. 
Listen, I got to go and get, I got to make myself a list. I need um, some red satin because I've gotten low on it for when I need that. And then I need, I need some different velvets because this is the time of the year you can find them. And um, you find it on sale. I put it that way. If it's not on sale, I'll wait till the next time. Okay. Come on. Cooperate. Okay, and get my scissors. Come on. Sometimes you can do that, make it look kind of weird. All right. So we have this little velvet on here for her and velvet on here for the tree. So let's find a place to put those. I'm thinking maybe in the flat pockets because they are, I don't know, we could put them in. Let's see what they look like in our packages. Something new to look at. So we can go over here and find the package. That's the hard part, right? And put them in. Let's do the Christmas tree. Well, I don't know. There's a... And see how much room? There's lots of room. Let's do this little girl. Oh yeah, how cute is that? So let's go to the second signature and find our other big gift. Here we go. And we'll put the tree there because it's presents under the tree, right? Okay, so now if you just left just that in those packages, I gotta get back over here, I was gonna show you. They would fall out, see? Cause this is a big pocket. So we gotta add other things to the big pocket. And for instance, we have this cute little Santa envelope that I made. Uh, it says the night before Christmas. And inside is a journaling card. And so, um, I'm going to slip this in with her, and you'll see the difference in how much room you have. It fills it up. Now, on the other one we just used, we want to fill both of them up. I made a little paper pad. It says, Believe, and it says, Merry Christmas. Added some papers, and we're going to put it in here with this tag. Now, this isn't as full and bulky as it can get. It can have more put into it, is what I'm saying. Okay, now, we have a couple more things to make. Let me shut this and move it. Oh, I gotta find something to go on top of it. Right there we go. Now, uh, let's see. Now we've got this envelope I want to make to attach to a page. And um, I'm going to let me click this together. These little cases you have to be careful with. Okay, now we got the word presents and journal. We've got a journaling paper, a journaling card that tells the story <coughs> of the night before Christmas. And we're gonna glue this down, this paper to journal on. Now, you might be thinking, why didn't I do just, uh, you know, tea stain on the back? Well, I like this lined paper, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. To get myself a drink. Okay. All right, we're going to put the word journal up at the top. And we'll have the card ready. Okay. 
And there we go. Now we may put some ribbon on there. That, no, we're going to put it in this envelope. So on the front of this envelope, I've inked around it. It really didn't need it. But we have these cute stickers. And I just thought they were adorable. And I wanted to use them. So we're going to decorate the front of this real quick. Take all the pieces away from the sticker that don't go there. And then we're going to ink... Got to ink everything. If you ink one thing, you got to ink it all. Not necessarily something. Well, I watched a video with Wendy the other day, and she said that she kind of agreed with Rachel that she likes the look of just um, Rachel with Foxy Creations. She likes the look of not inking all the time. This depends on what she's doing, so... Yeah, to each their own. All right. I like both, personally. But Okay, now, we want to put this right in the middle. Make sure you have your envelope open at the right end. Okay. And we're just going to put this in the middle. I got lucky there that it's even in the middle. And we'll pretend there's a... There's a, um, I'll spit it out in a minute, but there's something there to um, hang it on, like a fireplace. Now, we're going to take out this tree because, you know, you wouldn't have stockings hung by what? <laughs> You'd have to have them hung by a tree, uh, by, the, by the tree and on, on the fireplace, right? <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I'm just adding a little glue to these this chipboard because I know chipboard is kind of harder to keep on because of the weight. Especially when they're going to be moving it around and stuff. Alright, now we have some presents to put down here. And I forgot to ink around that. So I'm going to ink at the top. Because it's sticking up off the ground. So we don't have to worry about it. Messing something up. Okay, so we're going to... We've just got packages everywhere. We're going to put this right here. Line these little packages up. We could overlap them a little bit. I wouldn't do it, you know, stack them or anything. Just because they're be hard. Once you put them down, it wouldn't look the same. But you can do it a little bit. See, I'm just overlapping them a little bit. If I get my fingers under this other package. Goodness. Okay. We have three packages. To add there. All right, so we also have this word. It says presents. Now I don't know where it's going to go on here. I just kind of have to look. Or does it even need to be on here, is what I'm thinking. Let me see what else I've got over here in my goodie spot. Okay, so we have Santa. There's presents, and it will go in the right spot. Let's do that. What I'm talking about when I say the right spot is... You know, it'll come off the side of the envelope for me. Okay. Just like this right here. And there's enough room for it right there. Okay. 
And I have one more here I want to put on here. It's, it says toys. Just a drop. Let's put it right there. It's kind of cute, huh? Maybe that's where the toys are. <laughs> and this is a chipboard piece, too. I'm looking at my my uh, chipboard to see what else I might want to put on here. And I think that's it. Um, there is one little piece of holly. Maybe we'll put that on there. Let's see what that will look like. Because I don't have anywhere else to put this little holly. And it's the only one, which is weird. I was looking to see if there was two. And um, yeah, there wasn't. And I'm thinking right there or right here. No, I like it over here. Now you're probably looking at that and thinking, why are you putting the holly there? Well, holly can be on anything. And I'm gonna flip it the opposite way also. Okay, so I have one more thing to put on here and It's a nutcracker. I mean, when you're building a scene, you can do whatever you want. It's like drawing a picture. And I just felt like we needed more over here by the tree. All right. Now, I'm going to let this dry because... You know, that would be kind of a hard to get it to stay in the book right now. But then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this journaling card inside because it does tell the story, right? I think I'm going to line it with, mm, let me see if I have any more of this satin. Yes, I do. Just barely. Nope. No, this is the velvet. That's okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to put the velvet right here. I sometimes do that because I feel like, you know, they can feel the texture. This is not going to feel the whole envelope. This, um, this is a bigger envelope. So we're going to put right here in the middle or thereabouts. Oops. Man, it must have soaked it and I didn't even know it. Okay, and we're gonna let that dry. We'll set these aside and we'll put them in before it's all said and done. Okay. There they go. Now, um, we have, the next thing we have is a glassine envelope. Now, you might think, why do we need a glassine envelope? Well, they fill pockets really well, and they, um, they're fun. You know, put some goodies on there. I'm thinking I want to put some fabric on there. I don't know if this is the piece of fabric I was thinking about. Let me look. Uh, where's the other one? I had two pieces of fa fabric, but I'm thinking that was the, here's the other one. Let's see. Nope, that's not it either. I had one that was, where did it go? Where did it go? See, I'll find it. After the fact, this is my perfect example of staying organized. You know, something got missed. It may be in with something else. 
Who knows? But this one will work just fine. It's got a wreath, and I just thought we wanted, we, it would be nice to put something uh, on front of our envelope. And so, what I'm going to do is, instead of putting the glue on the fabric, I'm going to do it right there and hope that I got it in the right spot, right? Keep your fingers crossed. That's close enough. Hope you guys are having a good day. I know I said that to you in the last video, but I don't want to do a whole lot here. I think what I want to do is one of the satin bows. We're kind of on that uh, process of, I forgot to ink this, of, um, you know, packages, trees, Santa. That's pretty much what this is all about. Seems like I had something and I was going to glue this on. You know, when you work on this stuff, getting it ready ahead of time, then you have to rethink what you had planned. Uh, I want to put this Santa on here. And it says, Santa Claus is coming to town. Yes, he is. <laughs> and I'm going to put him right here. I didn't mean to leave that date on there either. So, let me see what else can go with Santa. While we are looking. Uh, let's see. Look at that little rocking horse. That would have been cute in the front of the tree too, huh? Mm-hmm. Mary, Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary. There's a lot of Marys on here. So I think I'm just gonna do this ho 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 right here. This is just a, gonna be like a simple journaling card. So I think we'll do the ho 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 like this. And I think that's good. Now, I'm going to put mat this onto some cardstock. But I want it to be I want it to give it a little bit more. See this pen is messing up my idea. Let's move it over. Just a little bit. So we have a little bit of something going on. Now, I don't, oh, I need to see how big. Let's see how much we can put in here. Let's see if this even fits. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't know if I'd measured it. It fits perfect. So we just need to put something on the back of it. So that's going to be, uh, help make it stronger and not so flim flimsy. I know, I, because I don't have enough, I don't have areas on my table set aside for anything. Um, it's easy for me to get out of, out of camera. And that's why I like having my Tim Holtz um, tray on, on my, um, make sure this is upright. That's why I like to have it on my table because it, it does throw off a little bit of a glare, and that aggravates me. I don't want you guys to be dealing with glare, but um, yeah. So see, this will help make it much stronger. Where'd my scissors go? 
Okay, here is my scissors. Let's trim that. And this envelope will be much sturdier. So Charlie wants to go to Cincinnati to get his, what he calls his Mickey tube out. And there's really not anything to it. You just take the Mickey tube out and then, you know, uh, take the wound and, and get it all um, closed. And of course, he'll probably freak out when they do that because when it, if it fell out a couple days or a couple weeks ago, it fell out. He got off the bed and he slid off and he must have slid off too hard on his tummy. And he's usually real careful because he doesn't like, um, he doesn't like his, he don't want it touched by anybody because it hurts him. It's, you know, just sensitive. And um, so he won't let you touch it. So he did freak out with mom and dad when that happened. <laughs> He started screaming, my Mickey tube's out, my Mickey tube's out. Ashley said he was so hysterical. You know, he thought he was going to die if the Mickey tube was out. Oh, crud. That must have, I, I see, I did not even see that that had a lot of glue on it. It's aggravating. I always like to prompt. I don't always do it, but I do like to prompt. Especially if you know it's someone new to journaling or something like that. It just makes it fun. Okay. Now, when I put this in there, I want to make sure that whether or not I have to put a um, some velvet on here. I didn't really leave room for that, but I was going to do a package. So see, this is what why I wanted the back to be clear and why I didn't just use a regular journaling card. I wanted them to be able to actually journal. You see what I'm saying? Now see, this seems like it's wanting to be what is hanging up here. <laughs> Nothing's hanging up. It's just Adding this little bit made it, it's got to get in there and then it'll be all right. Yeah. So, see in the back, you can see this cool, um, so it doesn't need a ribbon there, but I think I'm going to put one on the front. So, let's do a little satin ribbon real fast. I might have enough for a ribbon. And, you know, I'm not trying to do anything fancy. I'm just tying a ribbon. I tied a bow, I mean. Now, if if the bow was going to be like the spotlight in something, I'd be a little more apt to spend hours <laughs> making it look good. Okay, so here we go. My scissors are getting so dull. My Tim Holtz scissors it is crazy. Okay, let me close this because this pin goes on here and I don't want to lose the pin because the dog likes pins. No, she doesn't. She's too silly in the head to know what she likes. Okay, so we're going to make this into a package like um, we did on the inside of the book. And I just think it'd be fun. I'm not putting a tag on it. I'm not going that far. Might have to put a little bit more glue underneath on the top because it's sagging. So we'll put some glue there. I didn't really go out to the edges of the fabric 
because I didn't feel like I necessarily needed to. And um, all right, I'm gonna push that down a little bit. Didn't do the whole piece, just mostly there in the middle. Yeah, that's just different. I thought, hmm, let's do something different. And so I also thought that we could, let me look here. Um, maybe somewhere, somehow, we could put some of these cute little uh, pieces on something. Like I really love this little red and black check. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go on here, but I will try to find a place for that. That's why it was kind of in here, you know. All right, so that's done. And you might look at that and think, what's the big deal? Well, it's a big deal to me. I think she'll like it. And I'm telling you, I just thought we should probably go ahead and glue the whole top down. Because when you slide it in and out of pockets, okay, you will have issues if when you slide it in and out of pockets you know, if you decide to change where it's at in the book or, you know, because when you get a book, you sometimes have to make it work for you. And also along the bottom because, <laughs> yep, you know how that works. That one's already done, so I don't have to worry about it. All right. We are ready to move on to the next thing. I think we have one more thing. Let me see how much time we have and make sure we can do it. Okay, we have 10 minutes. So we may not be able to complete it, but uh, we'll try. Okay, so I wanted to put this little envelope in there, but I also want to collage on it. So I just kind of put some different papers. Um, here now i have the santa in there and if someone wants to change it out they can but i want to start with some uh, music sheet always always loving my music sheet right i love it. i love using it um let's see i don't want that there either so we're about to do a little collage I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't know how crazy I'm going to go with it because mostly on the front um, is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, let's see if we can get it to, yeah, that's good enough. Let me get my book. I seem to lose it every time I turn around. There it is because it's all mixed together. It's all one big happy family. All of my crafting stuff. I'm so crazy over that. It's just like, oh, really? Now we got some blue. I must have mixed, I must have had one box of one kind and another box of another kind. So I'm not inking these and then I'll just ink around it when it's done. Oh, come on. I'm getting excited. I just broke that right off. I'm getting excited because it's almost done. We're getting so close. I have all the finishing touches that um, I normally would do done on this one. I came in and worked last night and um, did some of those things. So I'm just going to stick this back down here. It didn't cooperate very well, but that's all right. Okay. I'm going to put some more down here. Let's see. Let's see. 
So we could put it right there. And put it right there. Let's try that and see if this time we can get it right. I don't know why. It's just old, so if you pull on it just right, you have to be kind of careful with this old vintage music. Especially if it's really yellow, because, yes, it will come apart on you. Okay, so I know that this is the flap right here, but I'm going to add it to the flap also. Now, don't laugh, but I have this one little piece of music sheet left, and I can't bear to, can't bear to leave it. So... Let's put it over here. Let's just put it where nothing else is. Okay. Now, the cardstock for this kit is pretty heavy. So, I decided that we would do another one that's not much lighter, but it's it's not double-sided, so it, it's a little easier. Now I'm just tearing these in strips. Let's see. I think I want this one on this side. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it right here. Yeah, I like that better because it goes down around that corner. Looks like it was made for that spot. Get some of this trash off my desk so I have room for other things. Okay, let's find a spot for this too. We don't know, we're just going to place it down. Make it work, because we can trim around all of this stuff at a certain point. I really like that holly in there, don't you? Okay, let's see if I have any more of that holly over here in my scraps. I doubt it. You can always hope though, right? Okay, I do have some Santa. Let's let's um, let's do a little Santa here. I know we have a Santa already in our window. That don't mean I can't. I have an idea with this, since it's a little girl who's getting this book. She's older than the other one that got the rabbit. So I'm going to, may have to go back and make her one too. And I'm gonna make this into something different. You'll see, I'm not telling you yet. It's not something you would normally see with um, this sort of thing. Hello, Santa. All right. Let's see, we've already got two pieces of that. So let's put some of this. I'm using stuff that's not really in the kit because like I said, it's not as thick and, you know, I don't want it coming off. My fingers are like, what are you doing? Okay. The only other thing I gotta do is I gotta get some journaling cards. I have a lot of extra pockets. When I do a little golden book, I always have extra pockets. And you know, that has to do with the fact that you have to make the pages work. 
don't like that there. Okay. I didn't like that there because it was too much sticking out on Santa. There we go. I don't mind a little bit sticking out on him. But I'm going to trim this a little bit so I can kind of get an idea how close we're getting. Now, if there's a little bit of the gray background showing, I'm not overly concerned about that. I just don't want to cut this envelope. Okay. All right, let's see. I need something down here. That might work. Okay. All right. This one felt like it needed some more right in that corner. I forgot about it till just now. That's the that's the thing about heavier cardstock. Now see if you use some of this flimsier stuff, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna we'll just put some on here and I'll show you what I mean. You're gonna have an easier time um getting it down and getting it to stay long term. But this is going to be something not just this is not going to be about journaling. This is going to be something different. Let's just see how far over we need to go. Now, I may go back in some of the bare spots. I may go back. Oh, yeah, I'm going to cover the back because it doesn't, doesn't look like it needs to. It, I forgot it had writing on the back. Okay. Going to have to hurry, though. I'm going to show you guys. I'll finish the back. And I'll finish the other part. I just want to put a little bit of glue behind Santa, first of all. Now, give me a second. What you're going to do to do this particular thing I'm about to do is get your Santa in the right position or whatever you're going to use it with. And... It's probably easier to put it on. I'm going to put glue on the back of this, okay? And I don't know if this is going to work like I want it to because it really is not a, a real true traditional shaker, okay? I was going to add some sequins inside, but I went to thinking as I was think as I just pulled that up that um we need to put them. Well, I should have put them in front of the Santa. Okay, but we're gonna we're gonna glue him down. Once we get him in here, we're gonna glue him down. We might have to wait for the glue to dry before we can do the shaker. You know, I was just gonna add a few sequ uh, red and green sequins. Yeah, he's probably not as straight as I had him, but that's all right. And so we're going to have him here, and I'm making sure there's no glue, okay, where this has got glue right here, but we're about to cut that off. So I want to add some sequins, okay, and... I'm going to bend this over so that it closes halfway. And what I'm going to do is it's not going to open. 
okay? So when it's all said and done, it's not gonna open. Now, that just turned out, uh, makes me crazy when stuff like that happens. I tore that off because it was hanging over the Santa. So it was my fault. I just wished I had thought of it before I did it. So I put some. Okay. Now I will close this, seal it closed with glue, and I will cover this. But right now, I just want to make sure there's no glue in here. And I don't see any. And so what we're going to do now, mind you, <laughs> normally when you deal with sequins, it's kind of like dealing with um, embossing powder. You've got to powder the inside a little bit. So I'm going to go in here. This was just kind of a last minute thing. And it takes the static electricity off if you put powder down in there. And a lot of you are going to go, where did you get that? Well, you can get the powder uh, stuff at scrapbook.com. Simon Says Stamps. You know, there's several places. Okay, it's going to look a little cloudy because this is kind of last minute thing. Okay, so I'm going to put some green. Let's just do this whole thing. Let's just do this whole thing. This has a little bit of, it has a lot of red beads and green sequins. Now, I'm looking to see if that's going to be enough. If not, we'll add some more. That was just all in one container. I like to use beads also, not just sequins. Now, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to work on that closure. So, what I say to you is Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye.